Nurse Jasmine and I'm back today with another video. So today is day eight of Nurse Miss. Is it eight or nine? I think it's eight. Don't quote me on that. But I hope that you guys are enjoying Nurse Miss. I am having so much fun filming it and I, from, from your comments, it seems like y'all liking it, okay? So today's video is actually going to be regarding a question that I get so much. Like even in some of my recent Nurse Miss videos, it has been something that I kind of wanted to talk about, but I felt like I kind of didn't need to. But since it has been asked so frequently, I guess I would address it. And as you guys see from the title, it is about tattoos in my hair. So my hair is a is a hot topic, guys. Like everybody notices it. I mean, I guess it's kind of hard not to. It is red. Um, it sparks a lot of questions. We are going to address tattoos and red hair or colored hair in the workplace. So if you guys are interested in what my opinion is and what I personally dealt with, continue to watch. So as you guys can see, my hair is bright red. It is not considered a natural color. And um, some hospitals can be very particular about hair color and what is considered professional. This does not only go for LVNs slash LPNs or RNs. This goes for A's, this goes for housekeeping, secretaries, like whatever position that you hold in the hospital, doctors, whatever, it, some hospitals frown upon certain hair colors. A lot of people are like, oh my gosh, how do you get away with your red hair? Easy, I show up. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> no, but seriously, I this has been my hair color for maybe what the past three years. Um, I actually started lightening my hair in nursing school. And then once I graduated, my hair was like a blonde color at work for a while. And then I just went red. It, was, it wasn't a let's get approval. Is it okay? Is it not okay? I just showed up. At that time, I worked more at like what is considered like a county hospital. My boss was just like, oh my gosh, it is so pretty. It was never a case of your hair is inappropriate. Um, now, when I was in nursing school, I did have red highlights and they made me get rid of it because they said it was not considered professional. But I also went to a Baptist or a religion-based nursing school and they were not for it and they made me change it and I was like okay whatever it is what it is so throughout nursing school I actually had black hair um and I was fine with it because I was like I just gotta get through nursing school and then I can do what I want to do and that's exactly what I did got through nursing school and started lightening my hair towards the end I think towards the last semester then I went completely blonde and then I transitioned to red once I left the first hospital I worked to and I went to the second hospital um nobody said anything about my hair either red is considered a natural color but that's like ginger red not this red but no one ever said anything and one thing that I've noticed is a lot of the OR nurses they get away with any hair color you can think of this one girl her hair was green and it faded to purple and it was so freaking pretty like oh my gosh it was everything she was an OR nurse and she legit would just throw her hair up in it and put it in a cap so no one really saw her hair and she was like honestly my docs have seen it and my boss has seen it and no one has ever said anything and I asked her because I saw some of her green poking out of her cap when she dropped off a patient and I was like let me see your hair and she was like coach like she didn't say anything she said my hair was big and red so she knew I wasn't saying it to like be messy or nothing I just really wanted to see it and it was gorgeous it was like so pretty I don't know if she had freshly got it done or you can tell they hadn't faded out much, but it was just like this pretty teal green and it faded down to this like really pretty purple and it was just so, it was everything. And then the more that I just started being observant, I noticed that people would have green highlights or blue highlights or this girl had blonde hair but pink, like all the back and the bottom was pink. There was a girl with black hair but she had purple, like a purple tint to it and it was really like, it was everybody just had different hair colors I just happened to be big and red and um, my fro is huge so it is very easy to spot me and it has just never been an issue with any hospital and honestly a lot of the docs will come up to me and be like oh my gosh your hair is so pretty or where's the redhead nurse like that's kind of what I am known as. My hair has just never been an issue. So if you are personally working at a hospital where you feel like the color of your hair is an issue, honestly, 
unless you're showing up with like polka dotted hair or half of your hair is white and half of your hair is black and, or I don't know maybe you got blue on this side and pink on this side and it's just crazy I wouldn't suggest going to work like that that's just me personally I, I don't think I would ever work for a hospital who would tell me I need to change my hair because honestly it's not like it is um, an unprofessional hair color it is just all about how I style it I guess you could say uh, but yeah I just personally have never had issues with my hair uh, a lot of you guys know that I am tatted up like let's be honest uh, I have a lot of tats I have well I don't have a lot but I have nine um, and recently is my big piece uh, which I got this about a year ago now um, probably not yeah probably a year now because um, I got it around Christmas time uh, but this is my recent piece uh the most recent piece and it is huge it takes up like from here to like my whole arm like as you can see it's huge and then I have stars on this side and then I have like some small ones on this side and on here and then I have my RN tat right here and um and then I have some shoulder pieces um and then some thigh pieces I have my foot done my a little bit of my back done but um yeah so most of the questions come from my my arms though so a lot of people ask like do you have to cover up your tattoos um do you have to wear long sleeves all the time and honestly no never ever <laughs> I've never actually had to cover them up no hospital has told me like showing your tattoos is unprofessional um keep them covered where no one can see them that has never even been I worked at a total of three hospitals and that has never even been included in orientation I have worked with a doc who was tatted when I say tatted I mean from his neck to probably his legs I'm assuming but from his neck to here you can see that he was tatted both of his arms were full blown sleeves so it is only right for me to assume that his back and probably his legs are tatted as well and he was like the sweetest intensivist like the nicest most educational intensivist I, he was awesome he was tatted so it was never really a concern and there was other doctors that was tatted he just had the most uh, but there was never any issues of like, keep your tattoos covered. No, no hospital has ever told me that. No director has ever said that. And actually patients really like for me to talk about my tats. Because every once in a while, I'll, I usually wear long sleeve shirts underneath my scrubs because I get cold really quick. Or you guys see that I wear my gray jacket almost every shift. And well, pretty much every shift, unless it's dirty and I'll wear a different jacket. But most of the time, I do have on some form of a long sleeve. However, if I start to get hot, if you know things is getting crazy in the ICU, <laughs> I, I quickly pull up my sleeves, and then people will see like the ones here, they will see the bottom of this one, and this one is so big that uh, a lot of patients want to know about it and they ask me about it, and I tell them what it is and why I got it and what my plans are because I do plan on getting a full sleeve uh like a half sleeve so from elbow to my wrist I plan on getting this entire thing done on my next trip to San Antonio and once again my tattoos have never been a concern it has never been an issue that has to be addressed I don't just go out all willy-nilly just showing them um but if they are a parent, my, like I said, my directors have never had an issue with it. If you have vulgar tattoos or uh, profanity or anything that can be seen as like a racial slur or two people humping or some tits on your arms or that are visible, don't show up like that. That is when the tattoos start to become an issue is when they can be seen negatively by others. It just all depends on what the tattoo is and how tasteful or distasteful it is. So my personal opinions of colorful hair and tattoos, it is just all based on how it is done. Um, I don't think that it is right to show up with like roots that fade into red hair that fades into green that fades into purple that fades into pink now that is 
very cute like i like that don't get don't get it mixed up um there is a girl i will put her picture somewhere up in here but she had on this lace front that was everything like it is to die for her makeup is pretty her hair is beautiful but would i show up like that to work as a nurse absolutely not um it is just something that should not be done in the workplace that is just my personal opinion and I if you ask other nurses they will probably agree with you however there is a nurse uh on Instagram who is really popular um and her hair is like this fuchsia pink and it is beautiful but it is all one solid color it is she always looks really put together and that's what I mean by how it is done if you show up with all deep purple hair I think that is absolutely beautiful and it is all just how it is done as well as your tattoos as long as your tattoos are not vulgar or distasteful um, form of like racist or things like that um i think that tattoos are appropriate if we live in a new age where everything is not like you have to show up like i am going to be your nurse and i am in my black hair and my white dress and I am Florence Nightingale. That's not the generation that we live and tattoos have become the norm. They're not looked at as taboo and anything like that. So it is not something that is like I said now that it's not even a topic that is even addressed in orientation anymore or from my experience it's probably hospitals around that still are like you know cover up your tattoos. I mean they make I have employees cover up their tattoos so it is just all what your hospital believes in and I am happy that I have had the opportunity to work at places that let me express who I am and how I want to be um, seen and still they still see me as equal and still as professional as anybody else and I can honestly say that I'm, I'm happy to be redhead and tatted up and everything else and you know still be me but I can still save your life so that is what I have experienced as well as my views on colored hair and tattoos as a nurse or in the nurse workplace or in the hospital and yeah uh, if you guys are nurses or aides or PCTs or secretaries unit clerks anything like that and you um, have experienced any issues with your hair being a certain color or tattoos being visible um let us know what your experiences are in the comments let's start a conversation see how we're similar how we're different i appreciate you guys for hanging out with me for nurse miss day eight and i'll see you hunts tomorrow love you all bye Mwah.